as we solved the problem on CMOS inverter in last video. Now uh, we have to verify this answer with the multi -SIM. Here is the problem statement same as the uh, in that video. We got this value uh, calculated values and now we have to verify this value with multi -SIM simulator. So let's start. Uh, first open your multi -SIM. Uh, and now we have to make the circuit circuit for CMOS in order. So go to in place, go to in components. So follow these steps. Take mass P transistor. Click on OK. Place here. Then go MOS in transistor. This is the enhancement in MOSFET, and this is the enhancement in MOSFET. Now take VDD. Place here. Now go to in sources. Take DC power. Place. Take ground. Take one more. Close the window. Now flip this. Flip vertically. PMOS. Now connect PMOS and NMOS. Connect source terminal of PMOS to VDD. Connect, connect gate terminal of PMOS and NMOS together. Connect gate terminal to the positive supply of DC source. Connect it to ground. Connect this to ground. So this is the uh, CMOS inverter circuit. Now we have to take probe. For that, go to in place. Go to in probes. Take voltage probe. And place here. Give name it as V out one. Click on OK. Then again take current probe. Lesser. Rename as ISC. Click on OK. So V in is always zero for low voltage. You label as V in. Click on OK. Now, now our VDD is 3.3 volt. So make VDD 3.3. Click on OK. So this is the circuit of CMOS in order. Now uh, we have KP value. Kn is equal to 20 micro and Kp is equal to 80 micro. This is the transconductance of NMOS transistor and PMOS transistor. So we have to uh, repl uh, replace these values with this value. So 
double click on this is the yen mask and double click on this you will get this window here go to in edit model here you will get transconductor parameters so here our kn is 200 microampere per whole square so make here 200 and for micro 10 raised to minus 6 and here you can see vtn is 0 0.6 volt vision vtn is a threshold voltage so make make that change is also so threshold voltage 0 0.6 click on change components click on ok now same for PMOS here KP is 80 microampere per whole square and VTP is the threshold voltage minus 0 0.7 so read model transconductance is 80 micro means 10 into rest minus 6 and threshold voltage is minus 0.7 click on change component click on ok now we will going to simulate so for this go to simulation go to analysis and simulation in that go to in dc sweep ok here change between here type 3.3 .3, in green by 0.1 output here add here add v out 1 and i c click on run you will get this curve In increment to 0 0.01 then again run you will get the this curve again then go to graph for IC go to graph click on properties go to in trace for IAC select left, ax left axis and for we have select left axis make it at to range so you will get this out now we have to verify these outputs so when VIL is 1.1 .1, we get V out 3.18 so let's see so when VIL is 1.1 .1, go to cursor click on show cursor here you will get two cursor take the first one now VIL is 1.10 hole then we get output 3.18 so let's check make it 1.1 .1. so 
so here you can see our VIL is 1.1 and we get output 3.05 so it is exactly equal to 3.18 now our VIH is 1.55 and we get we have 0 0.26 so let's check it here you, here you will see 1.55 here 1.55 or and output is 0 0.26 which is exactly equal to calculated value. Now, when which is equal to 1.37, we get ISC 5.9 microampere. So let's check. So this is ISC, which is equal to 1.37, and we get the output. 5.9 micro so all calculated values are verified